guys, this is G75, and I'm going to be bringing you a tutorial here today, and that has to do with uh, how I make my videos, I should say, or how I render my videos, and what settings I use, and what processes I go through. So we'll just go ahead and get to this. I'm not going to say much more, so we'll just go ahead and go to, say, Sony Vegas. Now what I'm using to record is open broadcast software, and... I guess click this black box and it'll take you to that tutorial that I'll get out here shortly. By the way, you should be seeing this on a Sunday or a Monday. I think Sunday. Saturday, damn it. All right, you should be seeing this video on a Saturday and if you click here in this box, it'll take you to the OBS tutorial that I have set up of how to record with open broadcast software. But this is how I render my videos. So you see it's blank here, pretty boring. All right, just go ahead and get a clip you know, one of your video clips that say you record with open beat broadcast software. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to use. I have no clue what to use. All right, for the sake of time, we'll go ahead and use one from Watch Dogs. <laughs> you know, where you get the taco truck van. <laughs> All right, we'll use this. Now what I do is I disable motion blur by clicking this little box over here. And then you right click on the clip after I clicked on it. I'm using Vegas 13 by the way. Click disable, resample. This speeds up render time dramatically and gets rid of all the, I guess, frame blending. I don't know what that is. Some, something like that. Anyways, go to OK. After I, after I do all that, my process is I go to the properties thing. I click this little match media video settings. And then click on the same clip you used, and that uses all the, exactly how you recorded that. <laughs> so I want to change this to 30 frames per second. Even though YouTube now supports 60, I'm just doing this one at 30 to save myself some time. You can go ahead and look at these settings if you wish. I'll wait a second or two. And you know, you can click this little button here, start all new projects with these settings. And it'll start all new projects with these settings. <laughs> so you click apply. And there you go. Those are the settings to get it ready to render. So you go to file. Render as. Now what I use here is this XD cam or the Sony MXF. And they both give you unplayable files. Unless you have a codec pack, which I do, but that's not really what I care about because I always convert them anyway. So I'll click the 1080p setting, which I think was, I clicked the 1280 by 720 60p, but I just go to customize template and there's my settings right here. I untick this because I don't know really if it's important or not. It probably cost more time. This I leave at 31. And I changed it, it'll be 720p, you change it to 1080p, so 1920 by 1080 The frame rate should be 60 frames, but I changed it to 30, or 29.970. Aspect ratio will go by what resolution you picked, or frame size, I should say. And this, this will probably be upper field first, you want to select progressive. Again, this is using the XD cam. Setting. You know, audio, I leave default, and this, I change. This, I change to best. So, those are my settings. Go ahead and copy those down if you wish. You can save it as a preset, which I have. And click OK. Let's say I'll just call this one Test. And click Render. And you can see it's rendering actually fairly quick. I have an i7-4790, uh, so... Or 4790K. So this shouldn't take that long. It's a 50 second clip, so... At 1080p... I mean, somebody tells me it should go faster because... Oh well, wow, it is using about 90% of my processor. But some of that's because I'm recording right now. And you can see it's almost done. Should take no longer than like 34 seconds or something like that. Oh, a little bit longer. Huh. And there you go, it's done. Now that we got our video clip, we can go ahead and uh, 
you know, go put it into another program that I have ready to set up. And this is what the file looks like. And it won't look like this unless you have a video codec pack for Windows Media Player. Which is what I'm mostly use most of the time. I use VLC from time to time as well, but I don't have that installed right now. But this will show up like as a blank thumbnail, so... And it won't be watchable. But anyways, that's not really important, so we'll just go ahead and close from the end of my side. Close that out. And we'll open up this program I got called Handbrake. Which looks like this. You know, it's a free open source program. Basically meant to reduce file size without losing quality. And pretty much all I do is leave default settings and just change that <laughs> to web optimized. You have all this nonsense. I tried other people trying to get it to look better or whatever, but this really does not reduce quality. You know, this you can change to like 22. You know, the low, higher number you get, the less quality it is, but the smaller the file size. I just leave it at 20. And for this purpose, I'm going to go to 22. So you get your source by clicking source. You want to open file. And you want to go get one of those, whatever I call the XD cam files, which is going to be an MP4 file, but it's not like your usual MP4 file. Anyways, we'll click that. Go to open. And like I said, click web optimize here. And here's his destination. You just type where you want to save it. So I usually just click on the clip, say test, and just add an HP to it to remind myself it's handbrake and save. It'll say MP4 here at the bottom, which is the file you're trying to save to. And it'll say right here container MP4 output settings. And that's pretty much it. You just go to start. <laughs> You can see it's going through this at almost 100% CPU usage, but that's again because of the the recording software I'm using. Hmm. You can leave all these settings like I had them. They're they're just default settings, except for the web optimizer click. So that's pretty much it. And here in two seconds is done. So we can close that out, and you have your finished product. Which should say test HP. And see, I have it right there. I'm going to show both of them. Here's the original. Remember, I got the Kovadec pack installed. So I don't know if you can tell the difference there, but look. And then here's the other one. Looks exactly the same to me. Slightly, slightly reduced quality. Very slightly. You can't even really tell. And if you look, the original file is 165 megabytes. The next file is 118. Oh, well, that doesn't work. Anyways, the longer the videos are, the more it'll, it'll reduce file size That from what I found. But anyways, that's it. That's what I do. So I go to Vegas. I do my render settings that I showed you. Then I get the clip that was there, and I come back to Handbrake. And then I just make a smaller file size with Handbrake. That's mainly what I use it for. But now that I found the other settings that make the render time so much faster... With a 1080p video. A 720p video would have been like 12 seconds. But anyways, as I said, you know, click click subscribe up here. I should have an icon if you have annotations on. Be sure to keep those on. Um the C state, I guess the end of the video is always shows previous clips or the next video. So you can go ahead and check those out. And remember that I'm still going to upload a tutorial on how to use OBS or the settings I use for OBS. So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, get out of here. So, uh...